Uh, my name is Jonathan W.C. Mills, and the film is We Were Feared. The producers uh, brought this project to me uh, almost four years ago in the form of um, a project that they had, controversially it turns out, uh, acquired the rights to called Urban Struggle, The Battle for the Cuckoo's Nest, which was a short uh, project put together in the 80s uh, when the Cuckoo's Nest was open and they had along with Jerry wanted to exploit this uh, this material and re-release it and had approached me to actually uh, put together possibly some DVD extras or see what we could do to expand that material and in watching that footage and talking to some of the participants I realized there was a much bigger film. What I saw was not just uh, a punk rock story about a bar or you know, a bar that hosted some great bands, but I, I really saw something familiar, which was a guy who was fighting for his livelihood in a culture that was not excited about what he was doing. And it's a scene that's been fairly well covered in a lot of other documentaries and films, and, and I really had to decide from the outset, do I have something to add to that dialogue uh, culturally? You know, is, th is this film worth making um, when there's already been American Hardcore and, and these other, you know, these other projects? And we said from the very beginning, we don't want to set out to make some sort of anthology of punk. We're not here to cover a movement. We're not here to create some sort of, you know, contextual musical experience so people can you know place it in, in the canon of punk music we said this is a story of a time a place it lasted for three years it was groundbreaking it was awesome let's keep it contained but it, it certainly started out as a really interesting sort of slice of life and uh, and in that there was a story that I felt like you know could be told from the perspective of the people in it and that's what's ended up being so cool is we ended up finding really most of the people that were in that video who were still alive are now in We Were Feared, uh, which is really, I think, a, a really a triumph <laughs> of detective work. Some of these people hadn't seen each other in many years. And, and, and sort of the typical greeting, you know, punk rock greeting has been, you know, you're still alive? You know? <laughs> it's like when you hear that, you think, oh, shit. You know, these guys really lived hard. I mean, there is no... It is written on their bodies and their faces and their, their, you know, in, in the way that they approach the world. It's taken me four years of production to get to this point. And, uh, of course, 30 years before that, uh, you know, over, over, over a long period of time to, to get the footage itself. So it's just, and, and we keep adding on to it a little bit like a layer cake. You know, uh, these types of projects they develop organically as the project gains steam more and more people hear about it and feel that their voice is is worth adding to uh... the dialogue you know an example might be you know we didn't get henry rollins until six months ago after we would basically completed the doc and he had a chance to hear more about it and see it and i think at that point he went okay this is legit you know, I'm, I'm, I'm willing to lend my voice to this. Uh, but had we approached him when we were just getting started, you know, which we did uh, a couple of other people, it would have been a little bit more difficult. While I do not play in punk rock, uh, my editor, Katie Bright, who this film could not have been done without, and I think anyone who does documentaries would acknowledge that, you know, editors are, in fact, co-directors, um, even if they're not in, in titled that way sometimes. But Katie is totally punk. <laughs> and so um, I was blessed that when we first started putting this stuff together from the interviews and from the, the original Urban Struggle footage, I had someone who was actually able to provide identification and context in areas that I had no clue. We sat down and started editing pretty, pretty, right, you know, pretty much right away and have continued to tweak and tweak and tweak and tweak um, for the last couple of years. Uh, you know, it really took about two, two to three years to get 
the first cut to the you know to the place where we felt like it was worth anyone seeing it. 